We're pleased to learn this morning that the Federal Emergency Management Agency aided Broward County added Broward, Broward County to the list of counties eligible for individual assistance. What this means to homeowners is that if you are a resident in Broward County and have damage that is documented, you can apply for funding from FEMA. You can read about eligibility criteria and what types of assistance are available, as well as apply for funding at disasterassistance.gov. That's disasterassistance.gov. Or you can call 1-800-621-3362. That's 1-800-621-3362. Because of the number of applications between Hurricanes Harvey and Irma, please be sure that you follow the instructions and apply as soon as possible. Remember, our libraries have computer centers that can be accessed to register for FEMA individual assistance in the event that you do not have access to the other internet services. Resident assistance. Future points of distribution or pods are currently planned for the following cities, West Park, Sunrise, Dania Beach, and Pembroke Pines. However, these locations and services are provided and they add them and may change as resident access to services is increasingly being addressed by the business community. Pods will be established in areas that need them most. For example, we know that portions of Pembroke Pines are under a boil water alert. However, Large areas remain without power. If you do not have portable water and you do not have power, you need the level of assistance that a pod can provide. We'll share details on the pods as it's available. This morning we told you about more than 46,000 landline customers without service. That service has now been restored for all but 234 customers located in Pompano Beach. Volunteers, for those who are interested in volunteering, Hands on Broward is opening a volunteer reception center today from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. The reception center is located at 5815 North Andrews Avenue in Fort Lauderdale. That's 5815 North Andrews Avenue in Fort Lauderdale for volunteers. Emergency hotline. Our emergency hotline 311 is still open 24 hours a day, seven days a week to answer your questions and offer information about recovery assistance. If you have no access to a telephone, either landline or cell service, you can contact Broward County by email with your questions at publicinfo at broward.org. That's publicinfo at broward.org. Which brings me to a very important comp, uh, point that we touched on earlier this morning. Do not call 911 for information or to report property damage or power outages. 911 is an emergency service to report life-threatening emergencies only. Some of you have been unable to work or receive a paycheck for many days now. I am hopeful that the non-for-profit and faith-based community will step up to assist those of you ineligible for other programs. JetBlue will provide hot meals from 20 food trucks at the BB&T Center in Sunrise tomorrow at 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Wednesday and 4 to 7 p.m. for dinner. I am also pleased to announce that the Florida Panthers have stepped up and they are here today to make a very important announcement. With that, Mr. Matt Caldwell. Great, thank you. <clears throat> thank you. Uh, again, my name is Matthew Caldwell. I'm the team president and CEO of the Florida Panthers. Uh, I'm very proud to announce that our ownership uh, through the Florida Panthers Foundation will be donating $1 million to Hurricane Irma relief efforts. Uh, we're very proud to do this. Uh, our owner has, has led from the front uh, ever since he's bought, you know, bought this team and anything to support the community, Mayor Sharif and the, and the commission, uh, where we stand here ready to do. Uh, Florida Power and Light, we've partnered with you the last couple of days. We're very proud to do that. Uh, great to see JetBlue stepping up as well, one of our biggest corporate sponsors. So very proud that our organization is doing that. Uh, it's, it's in conjunction with the NHL, uh, which is um, donating $2.7 million dollars uh, to uh, all relief efforts, and the Florida Panthers will be $1 million of that focused here in South Florida. Thank you.